Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration how to do light painting with photography. Show your support by hitting that subscribe button and help promote my channel by sharing your favorite videos on your social media pages. Now I realize this is something a little different than compared to what I normally do. I've had quite a few people in the past asking me how I produced a photo of a friend's BMW with E30 written above the roof over on my Redline Works Facebook page. This is a great way to get creative with your photos and experimenting with nighttime photography. So what you'll need is a camera which has a manual override for the shutter and aperture. Here I have a DSLR Nikon D90 with a 50mm f1.4 G lens. You will also need a tripod to hold the camera steady and a flashlight. For this I have a small LED flashlight which has a switch that can be used as a momentary or on and off. The momentary switch allows me to control the light easier for finer detail and I can keep my movement steadier. This will depend on personal preference. You can also use the light of your phone if you wish. This needs to be done at night or when it's getting darker. For this I'm using a parking lot as an example. I do have a mild zoom on my camera due to the camera body and lens setup. Next the camera is set to manual mode. The camera flash is off. You can also set the white balance if you wish or use an automatic setting. You may have to play around with the settings on your camera to get the right shutter speed, aperture and ISO. For ISO, mine is set on automatic but has a max limit of 400 which can be done through the settings. A low ISO is intended for higher light situations and will maintain a clearer image. A higher ISO on the other hand is great for low light situations keeping a fast shutter speed but it will create a grainy image. Aperture is the opening of a lens which affects how much light is let in. A lower aperture setting will increase the depth of field and allows more light to enter the lens so you can increase the shutter speed. A higher aperture allows more objects in the frame to come in focus but decreases the amount of light in the image therefore you will need a higher shutter speed. For shutter speed this controls the amount of light in the image and this is the most important aspect for light painting. So for the setup, I want a longer shutter speed which allows me to paint a design with my flashlight. As an example, I'll be making a wavy design. Shutter speed is set to 4 seconds. Aperture, also known as the f-stop, is set to 10. ISO is max at 400. And there is also a 5 second timer, so when the shutter button is pressed, the photo will be taken 5 seconds after. In those 5 seconds, your hand will be away from the camera, so there will be no vibrations causing a distorted image. The timer can also be used and extended if you are working by yourself so you have enough time to get into position. For this I have an assistant. Our wireless controller can also be used if you have that option. And finally we'll be left with an image such as this. If you find the flashlight is too bright, use older batteries which have depleted voltage or rapid tissue over the lens of the flashlight. When writing text, this does take some coordination and planning. The word will need to be written backwards. You'll need to remember where you start and finish letters and try not to go over the same area twice as this can create lighter segments. For this image, shutter speed is 15, aperture is 16, and ISO is 400. Think of this as a marker on paper. Going over an area multiple times will increase the ink in the particular area, either making the line wider or darker depending on the color. The longer the word, the more time you'll need Therefore the shutter time needs to be increased and the aperture will need to be adjusted accordingly. Next using the car's lights for painting. For this I have maxed out the shutter speed for 15 seconds, aperture is set to 16 and ISO remains at 400. For vehicle lights they may be brighter than your flashlight or illuminate the display more depending on the style so the aperture will need to be adjusted accordingly. 15 seconds on the shutter speed gives me plenty of time to move the car and will allow us to adjust the ghosting of the body of the car too. So considering the car will be in its current position, for only a couple seconds there will be a light outline. As it drives away, the lights will streak across the image and once it comes to the stop, if it sits there for a longer period of time, the outline of the car will become more prominent. Same setting again, but this time the car is moving outside of the frame. Therefore there will only be a light streak and once stopped, there will be an imprint of the body. And there happened to be a vehicle passing by so I hit the shutter button quickly to capture light streaks on the road. I use the same method for the background on this image when shooting my friend's BMW E30. This was done when a bus was passing by. 
If you don't have a flashlight, you can also use the screen of your phone. With a flashlight, you may even need to have a colored overlay, such as tissue paper. Instead, I found a screen colored app from my iPhone, turned up the screen brightness, and waved it around in the air for some examples. If you wish, the images can be altered in an imaging editing software like Photoshop. This will help adjust the colors, highlights, midtones, and shadows. Overlays can also be done in multiple images for different effects. Do you have a tip for light painting? Be sure to share your tips in the comments below. New videos are being uploaded every week to my channel, so subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.